Yeah. And yeah. I know that, uh, you know, I know that Nick Saban likes to get up here and recruit. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're not just, you know, there, there, there's well, some good. really good players up here. Yeah. When all. I was at West Virginia, we tried to get over to Long Island. There was a big fullback there that went to Ohio State. Do you remember his name? No, but you'd probably remember if I could think of it. Was that the late 60s, though, right? About that. Yeah. Because yeah. I was at West Virginia, late 60s and, and early 70s. These coaches get around, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's crazy. When you look at their resumes and all the places that they've been, and, and Bobby, what you really built at Florida State really has uh, stood the test of time. Well, thank you, buddy. Yeah. I, well, when you first got to Florida State, do you, do you remember the first couple weeks on the job there, what it was like? Because it wasn't Florida State the way a generation uh, of people know it now. What uh, was it like when you first got there? When I first went there and I met their boys, now I had coached at West Virginia University. Right which at the most might have four black football players, most of them white, you know? Mm -hmm. So I go back to Florida State where I used to coach, mm -hmm. which was segregated back in those days. I, I had never coached a black athlete. Right. And I go back down there, and they, they're they probably half, half and half. And I'm saying, boy, this is going to be a good job. Right. A, and uh, so anyway, we, we tried to put them through the heat. Right. You know how you do when you go and try – Find out who you wants to play really, and, really who, tough and who don't want to play. That's you know? exactly right. Yeah, so I know. We put them through some tough times, and I, I went out there and directed it. I didn't sit back and say, coaches, go show them how. I went out there and did it myself. I wanted to show them who was boss right off the bat. And, and that's the way it was. And we had to naturally recruit. You know, you sure. it all, it, to me, it's all, my, my philosophy is very simple. Whoever gets the best player is going to win. <laughs> you, know, right. you can't you, get to sit in Florida, for you got, a, you got a, a boatload of high school kids. <laughs> that can play. Exactly. And you, you, know, just got, you got to get your share. You, you know, and when you see what's going on in, in college football nowadays and college basketball, too, I, I'm not a big fan of all the things that are going on, but. Uh, watching what Jim Harbaugh has done with Michigan and how he's taken recruiting to another level. Yeah. It actually had these spring camps down in Florida being yeah. done yeah. and all this other stuff. And I know the coaches down there didn't like it. The NCAA obviously put a, a you know stop to all of that stuff. Yeah. But that truly is the pressure that every coach is feeling, is that they got to go get the best player. No doubt about it. Did you it. ever feel like you went into somebody, Bobby, and, and gave them a promise that you were unable to fill or, you just, or were you about as honest with them as you possibly could be? Well, you, you better be honest with them because if you don't, they're going to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And once they lose their trust in you, you're going to have a hard time coaching that boy. You were, know you're, what? were you recruiting the, the, the kid or are you recruiting the mom? <laughs> well, uh, the mom ain't a bad place to start. Right, exactly, yes. Because <laughs> so many boys are determined. Uh, uh, where are the dads? Uh, you know, no I dads, mean, no dads. It's unfortunate. So, in so some you better cases, be able to yes. get to that mother, you know, because right. he'll listen to that mother, you right. know. And uh, that, that was always a big part of it. Did it ever come a point where you got tired of the recruiting aspect of being a college coach? You know, I enjoyed visiting and talking to the boy and family and even visiting the high school. I didn't like telephone calls. You know, you my, my, my coach would say, call so and so. I, I ain't going to call him. There's 50 people call him. Let's right. go see him. You know, I like to visit.